Many people take clean tap water for granted, but getting that water into your home is a complicated, dirty, and a very smelly job. There are only two ways to reclaim dirty water, and of them involves turning sewer water into drinking water. That's right. For the guys who do it, it's one of the worst jobs they ever loved. Here's CBS 2's Dave Malkov. That glass of water beside you right now? Technically, it's starting right out there. Meet John Vandenberg. That water right there, that's the Santa Ana River. Yeah, I suppose there's an aspect to everybody's job that somebody else can't relate to. And John McGuire, both hydrologists, water scientists for Orange County. This is right raw now. river water right here. Part of their job involves washing their hands and getting them dirty at the same time. It's treated water upstream, you know, yeah. sewage treatment plants. They dump the water back into the river. Right here, it's filled with all kinds of crud. Uh, you name it, uh, plastic bottles, you know, uh, tennis balls. Sometimes dead some duck. dead uh, dead birds. Sometimes we'll actually even get dead uh, dogs, you name it. There's people? That's pretty rare. I've never seen it since I've been here, but I've but heard it happened. does happen. Yeah. Yeah. When this water really gets moving, you can see what remains of someone's shower shampoo. Beach balls, Beach balls styrofoam, plastic bottles. I'm going to flush out this bottle. And I'm going to stick it in the water. They test the water filled with, well, you know what. There's probably a lot of biological activity going on in there. And clean it as well. Because that one didn't, didn't make it to the frying pan. Can you believe it's actually the mud that makes the water clean? Sand material just acts as a filter, so to speak. A little further south from that facility, there's a completely separate building where they, get this, change raw sewage water into water people drink. Take a whiff. To be completely honest, I don't smell it anymore. Oh, so. <laughs> oh your nose is different than mine. The sewer water has just arrived at this $490 million Orange County Water District facility. It bubbles and stinks, but it's about to be drinkable. Here's step one. This is a microfiltration module. A series of tubes riddled with holes about 1 300th the size of a human hair too small for large bacteria to pass through. 70 million gallons of sewage a day, then move on to the next building. So in here, you have about 22,000 super-sized Brita filters that you run it through. Yes, and the water that's coming out of here is so pure that we actually have to add minerals back in, uh, the same way the bottled water companies do. Basically, it's too clean after it leaves here. This plant is the first of its size in the world to change toilet water into drinking water. It measures how fast the water is moving past us. Remember, all the testing that goes on over in Anaheim and all the filtering that goes on here in Fountain Valley eventually sends this water underground, then to millions of homes. No, no room for error here. That's why there's so many watchful eyes and grimy jobs along the way. Some people can't relate to it because they're pretty just different kind of people. But for me, this is a good fit. It is a dirty job getting the water from pure nastiness to just plain pure. This is the water that's coming out of the facility and it still has another process before it gets to your tap. In Fountain Valley, I'm Dave Malkoff, CBS 2 News. Okay, <laughs> meantime, you're a uh, co-